talked, um, you talked about IP uh, in your uh, talk just now. How do you see it transitioning? Well, I think it. I think first and foremost, IP is going to play a, a big role, really, in two areas. Um, one, in the traditional routing encoder, transcoders, uh, I think that we're going to see the introduction of IP there. I think that you're already seeing IP as an introductory technology that's going to impact a lot of the software technology. Um, would you look at technologies that are going to be adopted as it relates to what gets put up into the cloud, what gets virtualized? I think those are ultimately all going to go to an IP-based platform. And most of the broadcasters are adopting uh, IP technology as their core baseline technology throughout the company anyway. And so I think that you know, getting that end-to-end -end IP architecture mapped out is really high on a lot of our customers' minds. And uh, I think they're looking for companies like us to help them ensure that the decisions that they're making today will allow them to participate as you know, the IT and CIOs who are now beginning to have a much larger voice in, in the technology and the decisions and the architecture they're adopting uh, that it complements what you know the traditional uh, you know engineering teams are, are looking to deploy today. And 4K uh, Ultra HD. Um, you've been asked a bit about it. You made it quite clear it's too soon, but when? You know, I, I think I, you know it's it's really about it's it's really about spending patterns because if you look at today's broadcasting, um, you know you look at that 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 group of customers today who have spent. You know, a lot of money supporting you know high definition architecture today. I, I think that their view it, and I and I'm sort of of that mindset that high definition TV is frankly a huge advancement from where we were just two or three years ago. And most of the consumers, um, you know, cannot afford to buy a 4K TV. And so when you look at the demand curve around the adoption rate for 4K versus the adoption rate for high definition viewing and the cost curve that's come down over the last two years, I think that most of the broadcasters are going to follow that. And so uh, I think to your question, I think it's a couple of years out and I think that we're going to try to align ourselves such that the timing of it, which isn't a big leap for us, frankly, uh, is one that we'll be able to participate when we see the consumer uh, align itself with you know, creating the demand curve, if you will, that's driving the broadcasters to actually deliver you know, ultra high definition.